With a very high price that we can receive for calves at weaning time, it's important that we try to save every calf that's born on our operation so that they, they make it to where we can actually collect that coupon uh, perhaps uh, next fall. As we go through this spring calving season, it's inevitable that we'll have some cow, perhaps a two-year-old heifer, that has a little more trouble during the calving process. And the calf, as a result, is very sluggish, is slow to get to its feet, slow to find the teat and nurse that first time to get that all-important colostrum in, in its system. We need to understand that there's a biological process taking place in this baby calf that we call intestinal closure. Now this is a change in the lining of the gut to where the calf becomes less and less able to absorb those very large proteins called immunoglobulins. That's the antibodies that's in the colostrum. And so over time, they lose that ability to absorb it. That's why it's so important that if we find that calf that's a, a little sluggish, perhaps went through a difficult birth, that we provide colostrum to that calf as soon as possible, certainly within the first six hours. A couple of things I think we want to keep in mind about this, and that is that we get enough colostrum in them. If we're feeding natural colostrum, it'll be about two quarts for an 80-pound calf, or a full dose of the commercial colostrum, the colostrum substitute that we purchased to put in those calves. The other point I think is that we need to remember is that if we feed another kind of milk, let's just say whole milk to that calf, that will speed up that intestinal closure process. So it's very important that we get the colostrum or the colostrum substitute into the calf first before we ever try to uh, feed them whole milk to get those calves started. I would suggest that you feed the calf within the first six hours of life that two quarts of colostrum or the colostrum substitute and then repeat the process 12 hours later before we ever uh, try to feed the calf whole milk. If we can get them started that way, they'll get a lot more disease protection. We'll have a better chance of getting that calf healthy onto weaning time to where we can sell him and get that high price next fall. Keep that in mind, and I think it'll help your bottom line on your ranching operation. And we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.